Hello and welcome. My name is Amir and in this video we are going to talk about Canvas in the React. As you may already know, the Canvas API provides a means for drawing graphics via JavaScript and the HTML. And we can use the Canvas for many many things. Usually it's used for animation, game graphics, for data visualization and drawing graphs and stuff like that, and so forth and so on. And it's usually like this, so we define an HTML element and using JavaScript, we grab that element and then draw on it, like so. But in the world of React, things are a little bit different. So we usually don't use this to access a element. In React, we usually don't do something like this to access an element. So let's go and see how we can have a canvas in our project. Okay, here I am. I have installed React on a folder using create React app and everything is ready now. So step one is removing the stuff that I don't want. So here in the index, I will remove this and this and this part. Going to the app, I don't want none of these and none of these and we can remove all these stuff that are here now we should have an empty app and as you can see we have an empty app here let's open this there is no error and there is nothing okay step one is having the canvas so I will have a folder called canvas and inside that there is a canvas.js and here let's just render that canvas now if we go here there is a canvas here with the default size of 300 by 150. Next, we can just add the width and height for this. And it should work fine. As you can see, it's now 800 by 500 using these props that we pass along here. So now if I want to write inside this canvas, I need to be able to grab this one and use it. And of course not by using the document that get element by ID or anything like that. React has provided a hook for that, which is called the use ref. So we're going to use that one. So for now everything is the same. Now let's try to write inside that. To write on a canvas we need to get the element. So ref.current will give us the this canvas and then get the context which is done by canvas dot get context and for now let's say 2d and let's draw something on that so I can say context dot uh, let's give it a gray color and draw a rectangle As you can see, I have an error here. And the error is because I have, I'm using the get context before that element is being added to the DOM. So I'm just returning it here, but I'm just going to use it beforehand. So this should go into a use effect that will run after the element is mounted into the DOM. So let's have a use effect here.
like so and put everything inside this now if I refresh you can see that uh, there is no error and we have our canvas with the box that we draw okay but we usually don't want to just draw something that is here we usually want to have a draw function that is being passed to this canvas and that canvas will draw that for us so instead of having it hard coded here we would like to have it in a function so we usually have a draw function that will get a context and will draw on that context so let's put these here so it's just the same okay let's do some animation so we usually need to clear our context before drawing Now let's do some animation. Then we have a renderer function and this function will add to the cont and then draw the context using context and count that we can use here in the draw and we can say that animation ID is uh, and obviously I need to call the function like so and when we are on mounting so to say we can uh, do the cancel animation frame using the animation ID okay now if I go back I refresh it's still the same because I have not changed the draw function so let's think that we get the count here so I would get the Delta to be the count modulus 800 so that the count stays between 0 and 800 and then add it here so now if I go back you can see that uh, everything is working fine but there is another thing that we need to consider and that is that we don't usually want to draw be to be inside the canvas we want it to be uh, sent to it by an by another component so it in, in other words we don't want to hard code it inside the canvas so I will grab this and put it inside the app here and then pass along the draw function to be used in the canvas and then grab the draw function and then the rest of the props then use the draw function as we use and then pass the rest here okay let's go here refresh and it's working the same but as you can see the VS Code has warned us about a dependency so we need to run the effect when the draw changes so let's do that go back here and refresh and everything is working perfect so our job is basically done here the only thing that I want to add to this project is have a use canvas custom hook that will include all the logic that we have defined here this way if we want to create some different component but keep the logic we can just 
call the hook to handle the logic for us. So I will define a uh, use canvas here. Let me copy and paste all everything here and just use the things that we want. So this use canvas will only get the draw function it uses the ref it has a use effect with everything that we had it has a renderer that will do as we said and will return when the component on months and depends on the draw and the only thing that we return is the ref Look. let's go back to the canvas we don't need the use effect anymore I can get the ref from the effect that we just wrote and send the draw to it don't need any of these and this should be just it so if we go back refresh and everything is working the same but our canvas is very very simple and easy to reason about we have a custom hook here that has all the logic inside and in the app we can have multiple canvas with different size and different functions so for example I say a div and then have two different canvas let's say that this one uses the draw to function it has a width of 100 and height of 100 the draw to function is just like draw one but this time we divide count by 100 and uh, yeah let's go and see so as you can see we have two different canvas let me send some style so we can see the borders around the canvases so border make it 10 now as you can see we have two different canvases that there are two different things so basically this can also be like 10 and 10 and let's add the Delta to Y and as you can see one of them is going to the right and one is going down so yeah that's basically about it for using the canvas in react I hope you have enjoyed the video the code is always available in my GitHub channel and the link is in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.